she that's her no we should probably no. take the boob down <laughs> she heard me she heard me talking about you she heard me talking to somebody and she, she she come out here to check on me to see who i was talking to no i was hearing I, I guess it vibrated through the wall when yeah. it rang. Yeah. And so we're looking for a device that's ringing and we couldn't find it. And then I hear you talking really loudly and I thought, okay. So, so she came to check. So she's hearing voices. I am hearing voices. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to chat here for a few minutes with my, my very good dear friend, Jamie Lynn, APG. Uh, Jamie Lynn, artist, poet, girl on the YouTube, and the the beautiful and talented Jamie Lynn. Are you in the Purple Door Studios right now, or are you in your house? I am in the house. You're in the house because she's I'm got she's got this. I've been I've been to her studio. She's got this fab little studio that's all hers, and she walks out there and what is it about twenty by twenty, and it's. It's got yeah. paints everywhere, and it's got paper everywhere, and it's got craft stuff everywhere, air conditioning. Who doesn't love air conditioning in South Texas, right? That's why I'm not out there today. <laughs> um, because it, it, it's hot. You know it's hot. It is. You know, what, 90-something degrees with uh, a... 120 humidity or something yeah. crazy like that. And we haven't even really started summer yet down here. No. no, it's it's just now the beginning of June, and uh, you know we you now we got it. We have it lucky. I don't know. I don't know what it's like. You're a little bit. You're a little bit further north and east of me, but but where I am, it it really doesn't get. It's not like it doesn't get higher than mid 90s most of the time. But the humidity is 120 percent. You can swim to the to the car to get in the car. Yeah. Lots of fun. We tend to be uh, on the other, because we're on the uh, north side of the Santa River, and we're kind of, a Congo is kind of a valley. You can see my hand, kind of a valley. Right. And uh, we tend to be two to three degrees cooler, but uh, on the swing side, we're two to three uh, points more humid right. because. We're low. Sure. Although here at our house, my house, um, during droughts, we don't get rain. We went a year and a half without rain a couple of years ago. So if it's raining in Conroe, you can bet it's not at my house. Right. <laughs> right. Whereas here, if it's raining, it must be three o'clock. Because yes. yeah, that happens pretty much. That's that's pretty much yeah. a daily effect. So. Um, Crap, you know I had a question right then, and I was going to ask you. For those of you who don't, the, the uh, Artist Poet Girls channel, the she does she does journal pages, art journal pages. She does she does tags. She makes art journal books out of some of the strange things. Now you put out a video just a while ago about a metal tin art journal. Yes. Yeah, I mean she's putting out all kinds of cool stuff to 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 make that kind of stuff. And she told me when I moved down here that I wouldn't be able to use Mod Podge because it wouldn't dry in the in the humidity here. Now I haven't had any troubles using Mod Podge, but but uh, I have had troubles with some other stuff drying. I've been working on this cat that I'm supposed to be painting, and it won't cure up for it won't cure up for anything with the with the paints that I'm used to using. So, what kind of tips and tricks have you got for us that we can that we can share to to deal with humidity and heat and create art? Find an air conditioned spot <laughs> because it has uh, less binder in it and less pigment. It will dry somewhat quicker. What was it? Cheaper. No, you said what? What did you? Oh, cheaper, cheaper product. Right, because it has 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 a, a crappier binder and um, the pigments aren't as heavy. And to me, binder tends to uh, stick to the pigments better. I mean, that's why it's better. Sure. You know, but with the humidity and the heat, because you got both. You know, if it was just humid. It wouldn't be so bad if it was just hot. It wouldn't be so bad but when you have both. It, to me, it leaves everything feeling uh, like silicone. It's not sticky, but it's kind of sticky. You know, you'd have to touch a piece of silicone to know what that's like. I I understand. I have touched silicone in my <laughs> life. <laughs> now, did you? I don't want to go there, but did, yeah. did you paint those things behind you? I did. Well, I'll tell you that. This now, see that that painting there in the middle, 
the the girlies that you used to paint with the necks and the hair and the stuff like the oh, yeah. like the ones in the middle. That's what that's the art you used to put out that I fell in love with. Are you still doing that kind of stuff? I have not done any of that for a while. Now, didn't we've you had uh, you know we had issues, so I've just not done any. <laughs> I understand. Oh, I understand. Especially, I know this probably isn't a problem for you, but especially for me, this this plague with, and I, and I don't want to spend too much time talking about it, but it it has left me an unmotivated uh, blade. I have just been sitting here going, well, there's just no point to anything. <laughs> Oh no! See, for me, I've been the opposite because I'm staying home all the time. I don't have plans with friends, and I'm not going down to the art gallery to work because it's been closed up until this uh, past week. So I've not, you know, had anything else on the schedule. Right. So I've, I've just been able to do my schedule. See, <laughs> see, and for me, the the opposite for me is because I don't have anybody to go out and get inspiration. When it's the same thing over and over and over and over, my mind goes numb and I don't have anything. Because, you know, I I try to infuse humor and stuff into what I do. I don't, there's there's always some kind of, there's always some kind of something stupid in what I, right, right. There's always some kind of something stupid into what I create. And I, you know, I'll paint, I'll, I'll, I'll spend, I'll spend two weeks painting an M&M. <laughs> Just, what? You know, it's just kind of fun stuff like that. But when there's no inspiration, when there's no going out to, to mess with people, there's no, there's no, uh, not, if I don't see anything stupid happening at the Home Depot, I don't have anything to paint. You see, you're, you're, social, you're, you're social. I'm not necessarily anti-social because I, you know, I talk to strangers at the grocery store. I always have, but yet I'm an introvert. I tend to not go out unless I really need to right. or really have to. So I'm perfectly fine being at home. See, I think you, you know. know. I think you and I are. I think you and I share that trait. I think the the term I saw on Facebook the other day was extroverted introverts. I can go out. I can talk to people, but it wears me out. I yeah. I, I have no problems going out to a crowd and talking to a crowd for a little while, but then it takes me days to recharge my batteries after I've done yeah. something like that. These days, five minutes out in public, I'm done with people. Oh, public is... I'll be driving home and I'm like, I've had enough people. Public is crazy. Well, that's... and that's So then you come home and you create people. That's what... We were talking about this just before we started. Just before we hit the record button, ja Jamie Lynn and I both do Sims 4. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm mad because it's not as easy to kill them. You can't just take the ladder out of the pool anymore. They can get out of the pool on their own. Yeah. You have to actually build walls around them to trap them in there. But but uh, we were talking about I had a family. I haven't played in weeks because I had a family of fairies. And I had a vampire show up. And then all of a sudden my fairy mother had some vampire kids. And my fairy husband. Anyway, there's strife in the family. And so she was telling me that she... what What's the eco pack was released today? Yeah, Eco Living came out uh, midnight. <laughs> oh my goodness! Have you already installed it? Have you been playing it today? I've made. I've created one sim. Huh? Emma Louise. Actually, I just named her, and I'm like, oh crap! I got I got a meat blade. <laughs> oh my goodness! You haven't even had a chance to mess with it yet. No. Okay. No. Well, see, we'll no, have to. Um, back when Sims One came out, you know, when it was new. Uh, I, I played the crap out of the game. I mean, that's what that that was my creative outlet. Exactly. I, I wasn't doing art then. Um, I was in a second marriage that was pretty crappy and blah blah blah. So the Sims game was my life. When I wasn't at work and doing household stuff, I was <coughs> playing that. And then my son started playing too. So we own two of everything because that you had to play by a disc. Right. We had two of everything. So we could play together in separate rooms, so to speak. Well, now you don't even get discs. Is there, yeah. there, there is there a way? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't tried this. There's not a way to merge our worlds. We can't, we can't. Like if we were to go on Twitch or something, we couldn't play Sims Four together. No, that's sad. you could play in your world and I could play in my world and we could laugh at each other. But you know, uh, at the end of the Sims One, they had come out with uh, the Sims Online. Yeah, and as far as I know, there's not been anything since then. Right, and, and I remember I was looking, I was looking forward to that when that happened. Sims, Sims Two, I I came in, I came in with Sims Two, and and uh, 
I can tell you, my wife used to get mad at me, especially especially when Sims 3 came out. My wife used to get mad at me because she is she is a, a new home nut. She likes to go tour new homes. She likes to drive around neighborhoods and look at new homes. Yes. Not not because she wants a new home or anything. I mean, she does, but not that's not her driving factor. She's just she just loves it. She's just curious about it, right? And so I started bringing home all of these magazines about new homes and floor plans and all that stuff. And she got excited. She thought we were going to go looking at homes. And then she comes in there and she finds me on my Sims game building little homes. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, know, honey, I needed this for my toy. <laughs> I understand. Well, no, I, 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 I agree with her. I like going to uh, see new homes and model homes and stuff like that. I don't know why, because I'm certainly not, a, you know, decorator. Yeah, but not in the market. I like seeing this stuff because I like seeing handy, creative hacks that maybe I can implement, and if not now, maybe one day, if I need it, I can recall it. Right, right. Like, let's rip out this bar and let's put this thing in that lowers, and we can we can use that to store the the dishes instead of me having to climb up on the cabinets in a in a step. Yeah, that uh, kind of stuff. I love. You need it. A yeah, I love I love to see that kind of stuff. Now I have a step stool. <laughs> I do too. I, or I or I call. I call girl two over. I don't know if you've noticed this, but she's like six inches taller than me now. Oh my gosh, she's like seven foot tall. I know she was she was this big when we started the show. Remember, I used to dip her under the camera, <laughs> and now she's and now she's uh, uh, she's just a monster. She's just huge. We've been doing this a long time, you and I. Yeah, couple days. Couple of days. We've got a few got a few days into this. Well, okay. So now you do your show. And you, now wait a minute. Before I get into that, I want to talk more about your girlies that you painted. You had, a, didn't you have a gallery showing a few a few months ago, a few weeks ago? Or am I? I, I uh, show at a local gallery from time to time, and uh, oh yeah, but it's been closed, so I haven't really done anything for it. I was going to uh, go into a new gallery in Magnolia, yeah, but they decided that they weren't going to do it this year because. You know, the play. Staff. Yeah. So. so it's like, oh man. So and 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 I was I was hoping I was remembering that right because it seems like that was happening in January February. It seems mm -hmm. like that was big on the on your on your uh, page back in January February and then all of a sudden just went away. And I thought, okay, yeah. well. And then when we, when I started talking about it just then, I I started thinking, wait, was that was that this year? Or was that 2018 2019? Huh. <laughs> It's been a while because they all just they all just while. roll in together now. Yeah, but I, I do show down at the gallery. Um, well, when it was open, I was showing down there a lot, but I don't know. I'm enjoying my time at home. Gotcha, gotcha. When you show at the gallery, you do have to do it. Not that I have anything against volunteer work or being down there because there's always something fun or interesting and people, you know. Fun, weird, fun people <laughs> coming in and out, uh, but it does. It takes essentially a whole day, even if you're working one shift, because you got to get ready, you got to go do it, and then you know now you got to come home and unwind. So it's it's like a job. Exactly. Exactly. Then, well, not nothing, but you know. Well, just self satisfaction. I I also am enjoying my home, my my time at home, but I've got people here and they won't go away. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay. So your your YouTube show. You do your YouTube show on it's it's artist poet girl on YouTube. You just look up artist poet girl on YouTube. And there'll be a link below when when we're done with this. But uh, and I'll try to get some pictures of some tags and stuff to put on here so that when when we were back talking about your tags, we can I can edit them into the video so people can see some of the really cool stuff you make. Yeah. And if you'll hold up your let's see if you'll hold up your right is it your right hand hold your right hand up. Yeah, it'll be about that big on the screen. So, <laughs> see, yeah, right, right. It'll fill, it'll fill the screen up about that much, but you, you can't see, you can't, you can't see it now. I, I don't know why I think that's so funny. <laughs> you know, uh, as mixed media artist, I do what I feel like doing today. Right. If I want to play with clay, I'll play with clay. If I want to draw or paint, 
or, or make a journal or write a poem, you know, just all kinds of stuff. That's the joy of being whatever. A, the joy of being eclectic. You, yeah. uh, now, but your show is the third Thursday of every month. Yes, live. third Thursday of every month, Tem live at ten a.m. Central Time, which is Texas time, y'all. Right, Texas time, y'all. Or Chicago time, you know, if you're somewhere else, yeah. but we don't care about I guess, that. We I guess if your cousin Ricky is Chicago time. We don't we don't care about them because it's cold there. We don't go there. I, 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 try, no. I try not to go where water freezes. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. so thir uh, so the third Thursday of the month, Texas time, 10 a.m. in the morning, APG Artist Poet Girl uh, mm -hmm. YouTube channel. And then you have... What other big news do you have coming up? You had a collaboration coming up. Yes, I have a collaboration coming up this month, starting on the third Thursday of the month. Now, I can't see y'all because I don't have to look at my list. <laughs> it's with five other artists, and there's Jean Peter, Barbara Clark, uh, Lisa, My Eclectic Life, Tanya McGuire, she's the one that put it all together, and Maria's Miscellany. Um, and it will be it's it's a collaboration between so there's six of us all together and it's on the third third or third Wednesday of the month at 5 p.m. Central Time so we're we'll going up in the evening and the premise is we each have mailed six things six of the same things to the, uh, all the other artists and kept the set for ourselves so we're all going to make some kind of project of our choice and do a video and then put that out once a month. So, and it's fun. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't have thought it, I would have enjoyed it so much. So did you have a Zoom meeting so that you could talk all talk about it at one time and, and record it because you guys could have a Zoom meeting and you're not doing Zoom? No, we did a Facebook group and she said, I said, you said, we said, we're like, okay, that's good, let's go. <laughs> Well, it sounds like it's going to be a good time. Can you tell us anything about what the projects are, or is that a surprise? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, well, I think uh, Lisa Lisa's already done a promo video, and she's going to be doing working in a journal. And mine, because I like to work flat. I have issues with book cracks and all that stuff. I just don't like them if I don't have to. Right. So I work flat. So I'm going to work flat, and then at the end of it, I will have an extra video in December where I put all my pages together. She said, That's the plan. She said book cracks. She has a problem with book cracks. I, well, yeah. I, I, heard, I heard. It doesn't matter what I heard. So, <laughs> book cracks. Right, book cracks. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Where, <laughs> where the pages come together. Where the pages come together. Okay, so you've got your collab coming up on the third, mm -hmm. third Wednesday of, of this month. And then, mm -hmm. so we've got you're, you're going to give me links so that I can put those down below for the other ladies, so that we can. If you I have, don't have any for them yet. I won't have uh, the links for the. Uh, I, I have third, you know, my, my channel link and all that stuff and Instagram because I'm on Instagram. Okay, now. okay well, I'll, I'll do that. I'll link to your Instagram and I'll link to your your YouTube channel, and uh, mm -hmm. and then people can find it from there. Yes, yes, because it's going to be set up, the, the uh, collaboration is going to be set up essentially like a hop, so that, you know, if you're viewing me, then you can just click the next link and go to the next one and so on and so forth, but it will it will be just once a month, and I am so excited to see what everybody does with their stuff. Well, I am too. That sounds like it's going to be a good time. I, I, I've had an excellent time, well, do you, <laughs> so it's already been worth it for me. Do you have big plans for the rest of the day? The rest of today's studio. Oh, you're not going to go see what Eco Sims is about? Oh. <laughs> Forgot about yeah. her. She's probably she's probably already died. You probably start. Have you ever started? Yeah, have you ever thought, you know, because I forget about it, but yeah. Oh, because it's still running in the background. Can exactly. you see it? <laughs> I, no, I, no, I can't see it, but I can tell you what happened to me. I built this really beautiful house, and I put this really beautiful thing. I mean, I spent a lot of time detailing their faces and getting everything just right and I put this family in this house and then I clicked to turn it off and I went to I went to dinner, I went to bed, went to work the next morning, came home from work and I was ready to play that family and I fired it up and it turns out that it never shut down. And there's mm -hmm. just 
and there were there were five puddles on the sidewalk out front where they had died and little little tombstones out front where they had died except there were six people in the family, and one of them was a child. Child Welfare Services. If you don't know this, Sims won't let children die in the game. So Child Services came and took the child. <laughs> but you cannot kill children in the game. Well, Sim, the, Sims, not not real children. Right, not we're not real children either. But I don't know. I've never I've never successfully had that happen. Every time every time something like that. Looks like it might happen. The child services shows up and takes the kids away. They will. Uh, they will drown. They will burn. Uh, oh, because no. sometimes child services is not quick enough, and they will freeze to death. No, I don't want anything like that to happen to my sim children. Uh, no, I I don't play with kids in the game very often. No, they're more like ca candy decoration at somebody else's house. Right. Now I'll go to another house. Now I'll create a house with teenagers in it, and then I'll go to another house and I'll raise a teenager so that this teenager has a teenager to interact with on the streets. Right. Yeah, but I don't care anything about that family. That family's whole purpose is to interact with my family that I've created. That is correct. Which is, <laughs> which is how the vampires seduced the wife in the family of fairies. Yeah. <laughs> and I also have that uh, I don't the Sims household that I'm playing with I don't like them to die unexpectedly yeah it seems like once they age up to an elder you know it's like a Sim week later they're dead yeah yeah and I don't get that so I have that auto aging off oh oh no I just move them out you just move them out yeah they, they can't die if they move out well, yeah, I guess so. And then they'll come by, and then they'll come by and visit because you're you're still family, you're still best friends. They'll come by and visit all the time. But I just move them out. Then I don't. Then I, I don't have to turn aging find, off. I find the Sims four harder than the Sims one. Yeah. Uh, because there there are aspirations and there's crap you got to work for and stuff like that. So I mean, it's kind of harder in 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 the sense. And and it, with, with the Sims one, I actually wrote stories and did. Picture videos right back then it was picture it was back when the internet was almost brand new. Almost. <laughs> I feel it you. would be picture I guess picture videos, I don't know. You right. click next. <laughs> Your story would roll out. Yep. And I've made and I've made the little vignettes where you make the movies because in Sims 2 and in Sims 3 you could pan the you can pan the cameras around and you can there's activities you can make the Sims do like you can get them talking to the mirror and then move the mirror and put somebody in front yeah. and they'll cuss somebody out you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. so the I, biggest thing, well see I only had the Sim ones I skipped all those other ones oh because uh, you would get them to clean the toilet. <laughs> So they're down on the floor scrubbing, and you you do the move optics on to and move them out there and have them scrub a car or, or something else. Sure, so you can get that picture. Weird. The things we do. I know. Well, Jamie Lynn, I'll let you get back to it. I've really enjoyed talking with you. Uh, we need to get together and burn some burn some red meat together. That, yeah, we do. That always sounds like fun to me, and uh, I know we've said it many times. I've been to, I've been to Jamie Lynn's house, that, and her and Johnny have been to my house, but I don't remember the last time. I guess no, the last time last time we broke bread together was at Cracker Barrel. What is Cracker Barrel? We need to do that again. Yeah. Is it is is the plague off enough that we? I think they've opened the restaurants here in Texas up to seventy five percent. You can have seventy five percent capacity now, or is it still fifty percent? I don't know. I don't know. We're just not. Place, we've, done, uh, we've gotten food takeout from Whataburger. Because, I mean, because we're yeah, Texas. And probably chicken. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do a lot of chicken here. We don't do a lot of water burger at home. We do a lot of we do a lot of chicken and we do a lot of sushi. Believe it or not, I know, right? We we actually eat we actually eat the bait. <laughs> so okay, well, thank you very much for for joining me today, Jamie Lynn. Be sure and check out her channel, Artistic Poet Art Artist Poet Girl. Sorry, Artist Poet Girl. I, I was thinking Artistic Biker. Artist Poet Girl on on YouTube and watch for that collaboration that she's got coming up and uh, and I can't think of anything else and then we'll put pictures of our of our dying sims later <laughs> but thank you very much
Thank you, darling. And y'all don't forget to do a thumbs up for Blade. Thumbs up for Blade. And click the subscribe button and the bell. Notifications. If you have your account set up to get notifications. See, now I love me some Jamie Lynn. Peace out, babe. Love you, darling. Y'all be safe.